I'm the slave of the house. I'm currently <laughs> building. <laughs> now you're shaking the camera. Come here. Get, show them a picture. Slave of the household. Currently building a door. A barn door. A barn door. Most customers would be perfectly satisfied with a 70 inch door. Mother wants it at 70 and an eighth. <laughs> so right now we're adding this additional board to cut off 98% of it. So that's what we're doing. Well, we got these boards where? Home Depot? Did we get these boards at Home Depot that link together, which I think is super cool. Yeah. And then he cut them all down, and we're going to later glue them. It's about, what, six foot? I'm going to glue them. I'm going to cut them down. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I like how you include yourself <laughs> in, the, in the project. <laughs> so the door is finally coming to completion. Everything is still loose right now. But uh, now is the part since the whole framework is cut. Uh, we're going to start gluing it together. So the main idea was rather than ha gluing half and then risk having to move it and then glue the actual frame on, uh, this way it's when it dries it's done. The whole door is, is done, besides the decorative pieces. But um, that way we could have full confidence lifting it up, bringing it in the house and things like that. So. We're starting the glue process now. Now we're using wood glue. And then after we have it glued, we're going to uh, screw it together in a few different places. I didn't want all the screws to be on the front of the door. But for um, practical sturdiness, I want a few. So, and we got a little, oh, what is that, a camera kind of brush or something? Camera? Well, yeah. Is that to clean a camera lens? It's or the barrel of a gun. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I guess I was just way off on that. Um, and he, he thought it would be best to get... To the, coat everything. Yeah, to than, coat the... Because when it just rests on the back right there, this tooth actually isn't long enough to actually touch it. Right. So I just want to try and coat... Um, All areas. Yeah, and we don't want to load it up to where it oozes out like you yeah. sometimes typically do with wood projects. Because since it's on the floor, we have no way to clean any, you know... Residue. No, any gunk that's or will be glued to the floor. If, what is it called again? It's countersink. Countersink? Yeah, you want to see what it does? Mm-hmm. See that hole it made for the head right there? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yep. That's good. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to let it dry and flip it on the other side. Measuring the uh, decorative panel in the center, of course, it happens to be support for the door also. We decided to paint the, the center of the door first and then just do this last and, you know, I'll go back over it okay. with stain. We're doing a mock board right now just to verify the placement of the wheel. So we have a board that's to length um, and we are just going to make sure that from top to bottom that uh, it will slide fine and there will be no interference because we ended up getting a, a, a glider at the bottom that we didn't allow for about um, half a centimeter so we have to make sure that it goes slides through that and um, we're exactly to mount it on the top Holes in for the wheels. Uh, just, just to be purely decorative, but uh, one concern we had was when running the stud finder um, up in this wall, we found that there was only uh, one 2x4 at the lowest part and another one at the highest part up here. 
Um, so our concern when mounting a door this, this heavy was actually when we rusted it completely on the tracks um, that there might be some give or some flex in there. And uh, of course you don't want that. Um, whatever our, our measured length of the door was would then uh, slide on the, on the ground and uh, the drywall could crack if that happened. So what we ended up doing is we joined the top 2x4 to the bottom 2x4 um, with these boards and uh, in hopes that we would join the two. So that way rather than it resting the entirety of, of the weight of the door on one, um, now two are linked in tandem. And then from that we just added these diagonal boards to um, those. These ones don't assist in strength, but that just kind of makes it uh, more decorative and kind of uh, hides the fact that those are indeed for support. Okay, can you talk about the construction, like what kind of saws do you use? <clears throat> um, saws, the, the saw we used um, pretty much for the majority of this project was a uh, circular saw. So you can use a circular saw or a chop saw. I used a chop saw. Um, and that's was, to cut the length of the boards down? Yeah, to cut the, the length of the, the boards to the, to the proper length. One thing I'd like to point out is uh, this board that we added right here. Um, most of you probably won't have to do that. The entire reason why this was added is the room we were attaching the door, um, putting the door here for, um, it has this offset. So we have this top uh, beam uh, running the, the length of the wall, um, or the width of the wall, but we have this wall that's set in. Um, so what that caused is... A gap. <laughs> yeah, by us mounting the door on this side, because on the other side we actually have a couch, so we don't want this running into the couch on the other side. So this was the side we chose, um, but because of that, now we had this um, you know, six or seven inch gap here, um, which kind of defe defeated the purpose of the big door if you could still look in there. Let's so go on the other side. We added this board, and... Okay. And that's it all the way to the bottom. <clears throat> handle we decided to mount on the door. Um, one tip for mounting these, especially on a door this thick, if, if yours is the same thickness, um, it's incredibly difficult to match the, like if you have this surface, you match out um, the uh, where the hole should go for your bolts, but when you're drilling, it's, it's you have to be especially careful to make sure you're going 90 degrees um, into the board, because if you have any angle on your drill, um, by the time you actually get to the other side of the door, whatever measurement you uh, measured out isn't going to be that distance anymore, and the bolts won't actually go in on the other side. So just make sure your your drill straight. is yep straight and perpendicular to the surface of the of the door. And I also recommend to um, prevent any um, drill bit drifting. Start with one of the smaller um, drill bits. In this case, I used a sixteenth of a drill bit and slowly, sixteenth of an inch, and slowly worked my way up to, I think, the three-eighths inch that was required for that bolt. This is the view of our barn door from the other side. And I just wanted to point out a couple things. And that is, this is the inset handle right here. That is just slightly inset. If you could see that. No. We added a lock. We got that at Home Depot. This is where we screwed everything in. I just wanted to get you a view of we did secure uh, each board with a screw. And those are the big bolts. Same at the bottom. And then on the other side um, of the door. I'm going to pause I just it. wanted to point it out. We did not attach it to the tile and you can attach it to the tile. It says since we had this board back here we secured it to the board. And it works out well. It's been working well for us. And one other thing I'd like to mention is that the rail on top since this is a custom door that rail we ordered was like 12 foot long and we had to have um well my son cut it down well that's it it's done this is the completed project this is our door